What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Glacier Twist Link Snow Tire Chains on our 2020 Toyota Tundra. So what we have here is a ladder pattern style chain and we are going to have twist links. So these aren't going to be extremely aggressive like the V-Bar style, but the V-Bar style is basically the same chain but just with some V's on it. So if you're looking for something that's not as aggressive as the V-Bar style and it's going to make maybe your ride a little bit more smooth, these are what you want to go with. They are going to wear away relatively evenly because they're all uniform across all of the chains and they are made of a low carbon steel so they will last you for a decent amount of winter seasons. Another thing that you will need to get is a rubber attentioner. So this is going to just kind of help hold all of that tension onto your tires so you don't get loosey chains that might eat up your wheel wells if they come undone. They're not gonna go anywhere here. One thing you don't need is a tool to tighten our cams. It comes with it, so that is definitely a plus. One thing I really like about these chains is they come in a rather nice bag. This isn't a canvas bag, it's kind of similar, but it's more of a synthetic canvas bag. So this is gonna hold up a little bit longer than some of those just straight cloth bags. They do come in a pair of two, so if you want to put them on the front, go for it. But if you want to put some on the back, you can go for it. All you got to do is just grab two of these. All in all, this isn't the worst install. It didn't take me too much time to do. We have a decent amount of room to work with underneath our Tundra. So that's not too difficult. So let's go over it with you now. First thing we want to do is lay out our chains, make sure there's no tangles or anything like that. And then what we want to do is grab our chains in the middle and we're gonna just drape them over our tire, trying to keep them nice and even. And make sure that the cams are nice and away from our rims. And then what we'll do is we'll go around back and we'll make our first connection. On one end, we're gonna have a series of links and on the other, we're gonna have a little hook. We can pick the best one for it and hook it on there. I do suggest doing this in your garage to where we can find the best link to get the best fit and so we don't have to do it for the first time in the snow. So now I'm going to go ahead and meet you around front to make our second connection. Sort of the same deal in the front. We're just going to take our link and our hook and hook them together. But we're not done yet. So we have a bunch of different adjustments we can make with our cam buckles. So we're going to take a tool that comes with the kit. I usually try to start with the one up top in the middle. So that's tight. That's tight. And looks like we're gonna have to do a third one and possibly a fourth. So that's getting pretty tight, but let's see if we can do this one without a whole lot of effort. All right, so on this one, use all the end links and then you're gonna have to go ahead and tighten all your cams, but we are not done yet. Now, we need to do one of these guys. These are rubber tensioners. You can grab them here at eTrailer. If you just scroll down on that web page that you're on, you'll see it in the related parts. So go ahead and take our hooks. We want to make sure they're facing out so we're not going to add any unnecessary damage to our tires. We're going to try to keep it as symmetrical as possible when hooking all these up. Like that. And once that's done, we do suggest that you go in your car, roll over it a couple times, come back out, make sure everything's still nice and tight. And if so, we're ready to hit the road. Well, everyone, that just about does it for a look at the Glacier Chain Twist Link Snow Tire Chains on our 2020 Toyota Tundra.